to Arc Survival Evolved with me, Endotric, episode 45 in our series. We're getting on now. And today we've got a couple of plans planned out because that's what plans are for to like make plans and like planning and you know, for planning and stuff. So, yeah, for planning and doing plans and taking off them plans. So, the first one we need to do is tame one of them. It's a Diplodocus. Now, you can either knock them out, I think, or you can... Are you on passive? Yes, you are. Or you can just go and stick kibble up their butt. Which is what I've opted to do. Now, I've only got eight kibble. And we need two. We need a male and a female. So I'm just going to run up. Give it that and I'm going to run away because it's going to get angry at me. I think. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. He might be turning around to come and get me. But it's a male, level 76. I'm hoping it won't take too much kibble because um, it can be quite a pain in the backside having to use vegetables which take forever so let's go see if he's ready for some more stuff being shoved up his butt you ready? nope so yeah this is basically what we're going to be doing so far ok everybody looks like we've tamed it but we're having some trouble with some ants and stuff ok let's get this little dude home then we need to go and find the lady we've only got three kibble left though so she'll have to be a small lady um I don't even know if three kibble will be enough for any lady uh do be let me go please pretty please oh there we go yeah, the Diplo, basically we need, we need the eggs to make kibble. Dude, I'm trying to get this dude home. Will you leave my Diplo alone? Okay, I got it. You can come on now. Come on home. Yeah, the Diplo eggs are what we need. Holy mackerel, look at him run. Whoa. 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 <laughs> okay, so I found a female. She's only level four, I think. So let's see. She's not hungry. Uh -huh. Now, I think when they're aggroed, it takes longer for them to want to feed again. So, you kind of need to let them de aggro and do their own thing for a couple of minutes. But yeah, there's a Giga. Just, we gotta go home up that way with the, the Diplo, and there's a Giga up there, so I'm hoping we make it. <laughs> She's only level 4, but level doesn't matter, it's more what she lays, <laughs> it's the eggs that I need. I didn't actually want a Diplo for anything, they're not actually that useful. Seeing that guy run that was pretty cool, so we might take him out for a trip later on. Yeah, she sort of stops wandering around, let's see if we can feed her. <gasps> nope. Run. Yeah, so it took I think four kibble for or it might have been five. Whoa, look at that thing run. <laughs> That's the gallon mine that's sign it. Yeah, it took four kibble for the uh the male that was level no sorry, five kibble. It was level seventy four, seventy three, something along them lines. 
So a level four should, well, she's already had one. It should take one more, hopefully. You just need her to get to the point where she'll eat. You still aggroed on me? You reckon I can feed you now? Nope. That's its taming bag gone all the way back down. It's not being hit. A part of me likes the passive tames, but a part of me also really, really doesn't like it. So I'm gonna follow this girl around a bit, try and get her to eat this last kibble. Hopefully it'll be a last and I'll be back with you soon, hopefully. Okay, dude, welcome back. So, unfortunately what I was hoping wouldn't happen happened and yeah, things didn't go as planned. Um, I initially, I wasted all the kibble because I fed it one kibble, like you saw, and it then got attacked by a scorpion, which means because it was a passive tame, it restarted the taming mipha, which is Garbo. Ooh, hang on. Level 4. Let's get, oh, that T Rex just got wrecked. Um, so that I got rid of the stego, uh, the stego, the uh, scorpion. And I fed it another kibble and was about to feed it the last one when it got attacked by a raptor and some dilos. So the taming meter started again, I fed it my last kibble and it eventually managed to tame it. I had to use some medjo berries, it took a while and I tamed it. We were heading home and when I told you about the, uh, the giga, it was up on a hill and by the time I got to that area it decided to jump off the hill and ate the diplo. So yeah I was a little frustrated so I decided to leave that, I'll just do that off camera. You don't need to see me do it or anything like that. So I'll just do that off camera at some point and yeah we can get, we can get them like laying eggs and stuff like that. So today's mission was actually to try and find some woolly rhinos because I was supposed to get some uh, a few episodes back but we didn't have any terror bird eggs and now that we have terror bird eggs we've got quite a few I was thinking we could try and get a A woolly rhino. Why do I keep forgetting what they're called? The woolly rhinos and don't chick. So yeah, um, so I thought we'd try for that today. I've had a little look around. I've not found anything so far, but I thought I'd just give you a little update. Um, I'm going to continue looking around and hopefully I'll be back soon with some woolly rhinos and then we can go and sort of level them up and stuff have some fun with them. So hopefully I'll be back with you soon. Okay everybody welcome back. So I've been and found this little lady. She's level 108. I haven't managed to find a male yet but she looks a little bit big for this pen so we may need to sort of sort this out. Now I don't know if she'll be able to break the stone or if she'll be able to get out so hopefully she won't. We're just gonna go for it because I haven't got any materials on me right now. And when we go and find the male before we do that, I will sort out this pen. I have seen a design on one of my... Let's just start shooting it, shall we? On my um, multiplayer server that I play on. Uh, the Anunnaki Genesis one. Don't break through that, will you please? Um, I've seen a good design of a pen. That's very sort of unique. So I thought we'd give that a try. Hopefully she won't break out. Will you? Please? Don't break out. She is giving it some welly. Are you nearly sleepy? Yep, she's 
is out. How much damage did she do? Nothing, really? Wow, okay. Um, awesome. So let's put the kibble in her. How fast are Torpor going down? Uh, fairly quick, actually. So I'm going to let this little lady tame up. I'll be back when she is. And yeah, I'll see you then. Oh my gosh, guys, I wasn't ready. I thought she still had a little bit of a way to go yet. But yeah, there she is. Fantastic. Name your woolly rhino. Um, we're going to call her... Ron... Rona? Is that how you spell it? I think it has a H in there somewhere. Uh, we'll call her Rona like that for now. Awesome. Hey, girl. So, as you can see, I've demolished the pen. Good job I did, actually, because the wooden... I used wooden foundations, and they were literally close to breaking. Very, very close to breaking. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this girl home. Drop her over there, and then I'm going to go find a male and sort out that taming pen again. Okay, I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So, I've spent two hours two whole hours looking for one of these guys and I only managed to find a level 40 that's the highest I could find so let's shoot it in the butt prefer the face but the butt will do hey dude good luck trying to break out of that so yeah this is the design that I um, that I saw in the server which is quite a cool design you can just open any door and shoot through any way you want and basically close it all back up when you're done. You just walk in anyway. It's awesome. So let's just pop them on there. And I've got to wait for him to wake up. And I'll be back with you when he does. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So we need to make some woolly vinyl saddles. Now we can only make one. Why? What do I need? Fiber. Well, luckily for me, I have not in that one. But in this next one, we should have some fiber. Okay, in there we go. Now, yep, there's the second one. I shall take that, thank you. Come on, come on. Thank you. Okay, so we have now Ronald and Rita. I did change the name. I didn't like it. I didn't know how to spell it properly, so I think there's a couple of ways you can spell it. Um, but yeah. I don't really know what to put pump into these guys just yet. I don't think I will. But what we need to do is get them over here. Now, I've never ridden these guys before. I've never had them before. So, this is all new to me. Oh my gosh, he gets fast. Okay. Open the door. Come on in. Now, obviously, Roland is only a small level. Um, so it's going to be... The baby isn't going to be great. But, you obviously know what I'm going to do now. We're going to make a baby. So, get to making the babies. Go. No, we have to, like, get closer to each other. Like friends and get closer to each other and stuff. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Stay still. I don't want to be on top of you whilst you're doing that. Thank you. Just stay there and you'll be fine. Just stay still. Okay. Let's see if we can watch the meter. And there we go. She is now pregnant. And basically got the baby in the belly now and waiting for it to come out. Okay, everyone, that is all we've got time for today, unfortunately. Don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe. We'll finish off in the next episode when she will ha give birth to this baby. Don't punch the pregnant lady. How rude. So, yeah, <laughs> take care. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.